Hi everybody. Today I'm going to read a story to you called Storm is Coming, written by Heather Tekovec and illustrated by Margaret Spangler. Boys and girls, let's show your parents how smart you are. What's the job of the illustrator? To draw the pictures! Excellent. The old farmer leapt out of his chair and clicked the radio off. Hear that dog? He bellowed. Storm is coming. We better get the animals safely in the barn. Dog sprang to his feet and bounded out the door. Round him up, the farmer called as dog ran in circles around the sheep. Storm is coming. Storm, Storm is, is coming. coming, barked dog. We have to get to the barn quickly. Frightened, the sheep raced after the dog towards the barn. On the way, they passed the pond where Duck was paddling. Storm is coming! Storm is coming! The sheep bleated. We have to get to the barn quickly. Duck flapped up the grassy bank and flew ahead of the sheep. The cows in the pasture looked up as the animals sped past. Storm is coming! Storm, Storm is coming! Duck quacked. We have to get to the barn quickly. The cows herded together and joined the stampede. When they all reached the barn, the farmer hurried behind them and shut the heavy door. <laughs> the barking, the flapping, the bleeding, and the mooing. Woke Cat from her nap. She stretched and yawned and opened one eye. Storm is coming, the animals told her all at once. And who is Storm? Cat asked. The cows looked at Duck. Duck looked at Sheep. The Sheep looked at Dog. But Dog didn't know. Well, he must be very mean, Dog decided moving to guard the dog. And he must be very scary, the sheep muttered, starting to shiver. Big, big, he must be very big, duck sputtered, flapping into the air in a flurry. The cows just laid in the corner and moaned. Cat yawned again. <sighs> Wake me up when he gets here, she murmured and drifted back to sleep. The animals waited and listened, but there was no sign of storm. We need a lookout, Dog barked. Duck flew up to the open window and cautiously peeked out. No storm, no storm, he quacked, but the sky is growing very, very dark. Oh no, bleated the sheep. Even the sun is hiding from storm. The cows dropped their heads and moaned louder. Dark is good, Dog told them. Storm can't find us in the dark. The animals nodded. That is good. They all agreed. Duck called down again. I still don't see Storm, but there is a big wind blowing. Great, Dog barked. The wind will blow Storm away. The cows lifted their heads and the sheep stopped shaking. But then they heard a heavy tapping on the roof. Storm is knocking, the sheep cried. No, no, no. It's only the rain, Duck informed them. Dog nodded. The rain will wash away our tracks, so Storm can't follow us, he added. The cows and the sheep listened for a moment. Then they nodded in agreement. One more time, Duck called down. I still don't see Storm, but the sky is flashing. The sky is going to blind Storm so he can't see us, Dog announced. The cows scrambled to their feet and the sheep started shuffling. A roll of thunder shook the barn. Hear that, Duck? Dog barked. Yes, yes, Duck quacked. The clouds are growling at Storm. They'll scare him away for sure. All day long, the wind blew, the rain fell, the lightning flashed, and the thunder rolled. 
And through it all, the animals cheered. Hooray! Hooray! But then everything stopped. The sky went silent and so did the animals. They waited and listened and Duck flew down to huddle with the others. Thump! 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 Someone was coming towards the barn. Click! Click! Clank! Someone was coming in. The animals backed into the corner. This was it. Storm had come to get them. The door swung wide open and the animals gasped. <gasps> It was the farmer. Everybody out, he called. It's all safe now. Hooray! Hooray! Shouted the animals. The barking, the flapping, the bleeding, and the mooing awoke the cat again. She stretched and yawned and opened one eye. Did I miss Storm? She meowed. No, Dog reported. Storm never came. Then he ran out into the sunshine with the others and Cat went back to sleep. Thank you, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed this story as much as I did reading it to you. Have a nice day.